So unfortunately, my external mic on my camera took a crap on me. And I still wanted to post this video uh, going over some of the things. So basically here, I'm talking about the rear quarter panel. Now, I didn't crash the car, um, unfortunately, or fortunately, maybe for me. I bought it this way with the quarter panel dented and crashed in and, um, and the chopped up uh, fender flare. And basically, I'm just talking about the rear bumper that it came with and the front bumper that it came with as well. I want to get rid of them because there's no need and they're pretty hideous. So I'm going to be trashing that really soon. Now, the car currently still has its stock engine in it which is a SR20 DE non-turbo. Uh, the car originally is five speed. At least when I purchased it, it was five speed. The engine was in good condition, it was running. Uh, there was nothing wrong actually at all with the drivetrain or the engine per se. It ran really well and I actually took it to Ebisu um, a couple days after I bought the car and drifted up there and it was uh, it was a lot of fun for what it was i did skin the wall a couple times and i crashed uh well not crashed but i skinned the wall so i kind of busted my rear tail light here but anyways so the engine is in good standing but the engine bay is really really dirty and it's time to prep this car because this car is going to be a competition car here in japan so there's a lot of things that I need to take care of and fix uh, before, you know, I can get to his final stage. So um, body kit will be coming later on and stuff like that. But first, I got to take care of a bunch of other things. The engine bay is extremely dirty because the color of the engine bay is white. Uh, here it does not look white, not even remotely close. Uh, it's more like a charcoal color at this point or a smoke gray. Now, once I take the engine out and uh, everything that is also in the way, I'm going to pretty much at this point hand scrub the whole entire engine bay and underneath the transmission tunnel and stuff like that so that I can get it really, really clean and prepped um, so that I can start sanding it down and painting it so that's the goal so yeah basically this is what i wanted to do um and these are the plans uh the car is on the ground during this time um, but now it is not on the ground and everything um, has been caught up so far but i wanted to show this video because in this time it actually had the engine and it was really dirty and stuff like that so i didn't want to skip steps or at least for people that are watching not see what it used to look like and what it looks like now all right so little by little is almost done so just got removed the ac or the whole ac unit that's attached to over there um, got rid of all the excessive brake lines and the evap brake line or I mean the evap line that runs to the gas tank which I'll be rerouting it doing something different for the new motor um, got rid of um, ABS the whole unit there it's kind of a pain anyways because it's blocking the entrance for the harness is where the harness goes so which the harness is right here the ECU and the harness, the engine harness. So just kind of disconnect all that stuff. This stuff I'm leaving. Um, I don't think in my old my old uh, com car, I had everything done. So I didn't even have this. It was just you know just the wires that I needed for the car, um, the headlights, um, the wipers. You know just the stuff, like stuff that I actually need. So I'm leaving this for now. It'll be fine. I'm not doing all that stuff. That's, that's too much work right now. Maybe later I will, for sure, but not right now. Because um, I also want to get the build, I want to get the new engine in, um, up and running, and just connect everything once I get the harness, and then, you know, hit the track. 
and just start driving redoing the suspension uh, like I said I'm gonna be fixing this up soon this is pretty bad but it's not that bad but I just gotta pull all this out I'm just gonna cut this and push it out Let's fix the trunk a little bit yeah so basically like the plans is gonna be you know five lugs of course because this one this 97 has the four lugs um, but I'm getting all new suspension anyway, like full full suspension front and rear. So I'm not too worried about the body, but I just want to get the engine stuff in order. And my other camera died, but anyways, what I was saying was, uh, since I'm here, I'm going to order some steering rack bushings, which go here and underneath this one, and just replacing them for a little something uh, newer, stiffer. Uh, it definitely helps with the rack. You don't want play in the rack. You don't want the rack going back and forth when you're driving or drifting, especially when you're drifting. You know, Cause you're, when you're drifting, you're putting a lot of angle and a lot of that's gonna pull a lot of stress on the rack, and it will blow out. So, gonna be replacing those. Those look like OEM. This wasn't me. I guess this was the the last owner or something. Maybe when they took the engine out, put it in or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what this car originally had. Um, don't really care what was in it but uh the goal is to clean up the engine bay as, as best as possible because it's really dirty and it's white so this is what a white engine bay looks like <laughs> disgusting so i'm just gonna decrease everything and spray nine everything up and i'm actually gonna scrub it by hand and uh gonna remove all these all these stickers look at that look at the color difference scrub the whole entire engine and then, uh, and then just repaint it. Gotta bang out the trans tunnel for the new transmission. I'm gonna be uh, tearing apart this old uh, bumper just to kind of make some space in my house. I really don't have that much space here anyway. Um, and right now this is on the back side of my house. The rim bumper, I just chopped it up and I'm gonna be throwing it away because I don't really need it. Um, plus this thing is hideous. Um, this is the bumpers. This, this is the front bumper that came on the car when I bought it uh, last year. And um, it's like fiberglass. It's pretty strong fiberglass, actually. But yeah, then I just kind of tear it apart, chop it down, and throw it out. And you know, I'm throwing a full body kit on the car later, anyway. So yeah. All right. So now that that's all chopped away, the rear one was pretty easy to do. But uh, now that that's broken and chopped up. Uh, I chopped it up so that I can kind of throw away inside of a dumpster. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead, drop this off, and then from there work on the car, finish the suspension. It's really, really, really hot outside. It's so hot outside. I have some free time, so I'm actually going to put some hands on the car. So I'm putting on my new suspension. Um, just finished putting the lower control arm and the uh, spacers, adjusting that, the new tie rod with the new offset rack spacers there. This is my little comfy, comfy cushion. So, right now I'm putting on, this is the shank. For my knuckle, this is my knuckle here. Just kind of installing this right now. Try to get it going. But my impact wrench uh, kind of died on me, so. Oh, I need an extension. So now I'm doing the right side, which this is good now. This is all tight. The left one was kind of a pain because 
this brace on my left side, on my passenger side is kind of bent. And later I'm gonna weld some plates on the here and reinforce it. My welder actually broke, everything breaks. I'm breaking everything. Yeah, just kinda putting these on. Alright, so I got these shanks in here now. Just a kind of like a spacer for it. The dust boot that's gonna go onto the knuckle. I mean the knuckle's gonna go onto the lower control arm and it gets bolted down. Um I do have to cut these tie rods. They're super super extended uh on purpose. Uh, so that you can you know properly measure it and cut it I also have this kit here um, I kind of had this on my race car back home and I mean back in the States and um, back in the day this is the new version though this is the I believe it's the V4 with uh, independent uh, caster so basically I'm gonna take this off lower this and then this piece is gonna go underneath and then I can adjust I can adjust the caster also from front to back um, I like my caster a little bit forward a little bit quicker uh, for transitions and stuff like that but uh, yeah I'm gonna put these on now so let's get started <laughs> 